In Minecraft, there's eight different sapling variants. And if we're being honest, only a handful of these actually look nice, which leads many players to create custom trees by hand. Now I can't be bothered to do that because that's too much work, but I still want my rustic house to look nice, which is why I made this. This is a fancy tree spawn egg. When you place it, you'll generate a tree. Each tree has its own uniquely random seed, and it's actually that fast. All right, first off, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get this in your world and how you can use it to decorate your house. To start off, you're gonna need the structure file that you can find in the description under this video. And once you have that downloaded, you're gonna need a structure block to bring it into your world. You can get that using this simple command. Now you'll have one in your inventory. You can place it anywhere in the world, it doesn't matter. Now you're gonna switch it over to load. You're gonna click import and find the file on your computer. Once you have the file loaded into your structure block, you press the load button and you'll be left with this. You can destroy the structure block and now there's two things you need to do before you start. First, turn the lever off and on to make sure everything is going. Then you're gonna press this button followed by this button. And as long as you get that message, start up successful, then you know it worked. Once you have both those set up, you'll come over here to this chest and you'll collect this spawn egg. This is the spawn egg that you'll use to summon a tree. And now with the command blocks powered on, when you place the spawn egg, you'll get a tree, each one with its own uniquely random seed. And to show you how useful this is, I'll decorate the entire house I showed you and show you how long it takes. Now you see this tool makes creating fancy trees a lot faster and a lot more sensible for your base. However, it's not complete. In the future, I want to add more tree variants such as birch, jungle, maybe even acacia. And I actually have one prototype working right now, the jungle tree, which you might see in a future video pretty soon. And just like that, the rustic tree is beautifully decorated and it only took a few minutes, a fraction of the time that it would have taken normally. Now that you've seen how it works, I'm gonna take you through how all these command blocks work. First, the startup sequence. This command block will clone these command blocks to specific coordinates in the world, which will be referenced later. The startup sequence is when you press this button, it'll just go through, set a ticking area, set some game rules, and make some scoreboard objectives that are used later. And then it'll finally give you this message to let you know that it worked. Now there's four rows of command blocks and they work in sequence. This first row is responsible for testing for this spawn egg. And when it finds that spawn egg, it will kill the bee or whatever animal you spawn. And it will spawn an armor stand with a special tag in its place. And that special armor stand will then be recognized by this row of command blocks. If we were to pretend the armor stand spawned was this yellow wool, then that second row of command blocks would be responsible for placing one wool, followed by two wool, and then a trunk. The position of all these wool and the height of the trunk is all randomized by a scoreboard. Next, this longest row of command blocks is all responsible for randomizing the height of the tree, the direction of the tree, and the direction of the base. Trees come in three different sizes, one is three tall, one is four tall, one is five tall, and these command blocks will check to see which size that unique tree is. This final row of command blocks is responsible for the leaves. The leaves are also determined by the height of the tree and then some randomness to determine variance in that. A small tree such as this one will always have this spread of leaves, but then the leaves that hang down will be randomly generated like this tree having zero leaves that fall below this mark, or this tree which has two leaves that fall below that mark. While there are a lot of command blocks, it's actually not as complex as it may look. And believe it or not, this tree project actually came from a previous mushroom project, which didn't work out as well, but I might still make a video on it in the future. And if you think all the randomizing using scoreboard seems difficult, then don't worry, because I've got a tutorial for that on my channel coming soon. Now, if you enjoyed this creation, make sure to drop a like, it helps me out a lot. And if you wanna see more creations like this, such as the jungle tree prototype that I've got right now, then make sure to subscribe. And remember, if you wanna try this for yourself, you can find the structure download in the description of this video. So give it a shot, and I'll see you next time.